Some people say that life is not a game. Well, I say those people don't have their own scoreboard. Right, we have a scoreboard for the garage. This is an All-American Scoreboards model MP4529. From everything that I've been able to find out, looks like hockey to me. Uh, it's not basketball because there's not a one there. Uh, it's got penalty things and all that stuff. So most likely this was a uh, hockey uh, scoreboard. So yeah. I was doing my daily uh, perusing of Facebook Marketplace and this scoreboard popped up. So I went out, picked it up and brought it home. So it's actually been sitting out in my uh, field here for a couple months while, of course, we were working on the building. Uh, but uh, now it's time for it to come inside and we need to get it working again. So let's see what we got to do here to get it working. So yeah, as you can see here, it's the All-American Scoreboard. Model MP4529, made in Wisconsin. Um, it's a, uh, looks like it's LED. It's still in there. I'm not really sure until I pop it open. Um, and uh, here's a little model plate here for it. So it consumes a whole massive 324 watts. And yeah, it's supposed to be for interior use only. And like I said, I did have it sitting outside, but the people that I got it from also had it sitting outside. Uh, actually, when I picked it up, it was covered with snow. So I figured sitting out in my little field for a little while wasn't going to hurt it any more than what it already was. So let me give you some specs on the size of this. So thing. my scoreboard, it's pretty awesome saying that you have a scoreboard. Uh, it's 174 and a half inches long. So uh, just over 14 and a half feet. Uh, it's three feet tall and about five and three quarter inches thick. So... It's pretty sizable. Um, you have to have a good sized place to put this thing. Thankfully, we have a good building. Overall, it's not that heavy, all things considering that it's over 14 and a half feet long and uh, three feet tall. Uh, it's mostly hollow, definitely. Uh, it does have some things that they were supported on. I guess the people that had it before me, she said something about that they had bought a building um, which I assume is the rink that this was in, uh, and they had no use for it, so they took it down. And uh, it had been sitting outside their shop since then uh, for a couple months, at least over the winter. So uh, that's when I got a hold of it and brought it and put it in my field. And it uh, looks like here, it's got some kind of plug here. Don't know what that's for. I'm assuming this is the data plug for controlling all the numbers and everything. And then uh, it's got an on-off switch and a regular 120 volt plug. So not a whole lot to it. But I think the uh, first thing that we'll do is we're going to clean it up. And uh, then we'll break into it and see what we can do to make this thing operate again. Uh, I, I mean, there's in its current condition... There's no, no reason for me to even try plugging it in to see if it lights up or anything um, because I won't be able to use it. I don't have the data thing to plug it into it. You know, you sit at the sporting events and somebody's sitting at a table and they have like a big box or something that, uh, that they use to control the um, scoreboard. I don't have that. Um, and I'm estimating, I'm guessing that this thing was probably from the 80s. I looked at uh, the American... Uh, all American scoreboards, and uh, they don't have one like this anymore. Uh, they have different models and stuff like that. And I tried to go back on the models and on their website and wasn't finding a model MP, whatever. So uh, there's not a whole lot of information I'd be able to, I probably wouldn't be able to get a, one of those boxes. And if you could, it'd probably be several hundred dollars. And well, I'm cheap. I got this for free. So. We're going to clean it up and then uh, we'll take some of the screws out of the back here and see what we've got.
For the back, it knocked a bunch of the mud and stuff off. It's gonna need some more cleaning. And on the front, it was kind of a lost cause at the moment. I, I need like a brush or something to knock off that, uh, like the field junk off of there. Um, but it seems to be cleaning up pretty good. It's clean enough at this point that we can get inside and see what's inside this thing. Okay, so it only took a few seconds to get all the screws off the back here. And now let's check it out inside. This is a piece of, uh, like, just sheet metal. That's it, actually, for what it does. Sweet. Check it out. All the circuit boards and everything for the different numbers and stuff like that. That's pretty awesome. So these are the score ones here. That one down there says the period. And then these are for the penalty ones over here. So, uh pretty sweet okay I just went ahead and uh, and just pulled the other one off too because the power cord was holding that center uh, this center metal piece from coming all the way out so I end up just cutting it there's actually a metal junction box right there in that corner um, and it's wired up to the switch so I'm losing like a, an inch of power cord if I needed it no big deal um, but let me show you what I found so there's the home side of it uh, in there it looks pretty good I guess um, don't really see anything out of the ordinary there's the center and then there's the uh, guest side um, but let me show you here in the middle this is what we took off so um, that little guy it's supposed to be mounted here onto this uh, um, piece but it wasn't when I opened it um, also interestingly enough you have this little guy here so something tells me somebody's been here before. Um, so it's another one of those little distribution blocks or uh, you know connector blocks and the wires on there have been cut, but that's not attached to anything. So I don't know what that's all about. Uh, there's another one of those cords here. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe they were having problems with it at some point, I don't know, who knows. But anyway, let's talk about these check out these power supplies um these are so there's two of them all right remember let's go back here this is this is the cool crazy part we look at the plate here so it's 60 or 120 volts 15 amp right so that's uh 1800 ish watts that you can draw through this power cord to run this thing all right now let's look at these uh power supplies they are actually power supply so see if you can see it there and so it's 120 volts in output is 12 volts at 180 amps so they're 180 amp power supplies and there's two of them so each one of these power supplies can put out uh over 2100 watts and but it can only bring in 1800 watts total and there's two of them so it seems like it's quite overkill but uh pretty awesome anyway look at the size of that look at all that copper there's a ton of copper there it's probably why this thing weighs uh as much as it does i mean it's not overly heavy but uh it definitely has some weight to it um so this must be the control board itself uh that controls everything and you can see those are those little wires down there at the bottom left. And that looked like they were junction there at, at one point. And uh, that wire is all wrapped up here. And is this guy. So my guess is that, well, no, there's, it goes up there too. So I, I, who knows? Anyway, doesn't really matter all that much. We do have a cricket living in here. Um, so we got to figure out, I guess I got to figure out what the deal is with all this. Um, and, uh, can you figure, you know, this is going to be fun. Okay. So some interesting things before I go, 
Um, one, I found out that that bundle of wires wasn't connected to anything, so those are just going away. Uh, part two is uh, um, the power lines coming off of here. I was tracing them a little bit. It's like there's one for each, uh, each section of the light. So there's one set of wires that power that comes in here and just powers those. One that goes powers there. Um, here, this is on the control board. This wire that was at the top for this weird little plug thing right there. It looks like that's just additional AC. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, I didn't really look too close, but it's right next to, uh, yeah, it looks like it's part of the another like AC plug or something. Um, but then you have these phone cords that go. And so there's one that goes up here to this one, and then it daisy chains all the LEDs for the rest of those over there. And then the second one comes into here and then goes out and goes this way. So that's pretty cool. Um, the big thing I think we need to figure out is how this thing is uh, doing all that fun stuff. Um, but uh, I think there's probably a little bit easier solution for powering the lights. Um, I mean, really, only one of these, it, it, this, this whole setup can't even use one. Uh, I, so, um, and they're probably, these things are probably so old that we probably have some better, uh, more efficient ones at this point too. So I'm gonna keep uh, digging into it, but uh, it's pretty sweet. I'm excited. So what's the end game with tearing this down and getting inside of it and trying to figure it out? Um, the end game is that I want a working scoreboard in my garage. Um, I mean, wouldn't you want a working scoreboard in your garage if you had one? Uh, you, would, you would rather a working scoreboard than a non-working scoreboard. Uh, not that we're going to be playing hockey in here, but there are some other uses that we can do. Um, anyway, I guess that's going to be it for this video. We're going to uh, take a little assessment. I'm going to have to do some wiring diagrams and all kinds of stuff trying to figure out how to make this whole thing function. Oh, it's going to be an interesting project, so we're going to have fun with it and uh, get it working. Hopefully in the next one, I'm going to continue to clean it up, get it a little more cleaned up. And uh, hopefully in the next time you see this, we'll actually have it functioning up on probably that wall behind me. So until then, like it, subscribe it, watch it 352 times. Much appreciated. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. So I started thinking. What if we just plug it in, see what happens? The worst that could happen would be that it would burn my new building down, but there's mostly metal. I think we'll be all right. Um, so I think we're gonna plug it in. Okay, so to plug it in, um, yeah, I went ahead and I just put a, I, I bypassed the switch essentially. And so we'll plug it in from way over there. Uh, and, and so the, if something does go awry here, um, we should be a safe distance away. Um, and then, uh, but looking here, we should be able to see, since this is the control board, it does have some red looking blinky lights. So uh, maybe something will flash on there or something like that, or maybe the lights on the front will turn on who knows? Let's find out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and plug her in. Uh, the camera's a couple feet away from me, and I am as far back from this thing as possible. Um, all right, ready to plug it in in three, two, one, go. Is anticlimactic. I'm looking. Nothing. Oh, I see a little red light on the board. There's nothing happening on the front. Here's what we got. Uh, we got one steady light and two blinking ones. That other one doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um, but there's no kinds of lights or anything there. Uh, and like I said a few seconds ago, 
There's no lights on in the front. I didn't know maybe it would do like a flashy thing when it's first got power to it or something like that. It would have been kind of cool. Um, but uh, all right, let's get a voltmeter and see what uh, if we have power to anything. So this is future Ryan, editing Ryan, and sleeping Ranger. Uh, and so turns out that I didn't hit record when I was looking at the uh, voltages and such. Uh, but I can tell you about them here. Uh, everything had voltage to it. The power supplies were reading about 14 and a half volts. Um, the, the ACN was fine, you know, on the boards and such like that. Uh, I even tested the ends of the uh, power lines going out to the, the numbers. And they were reading the 14 and a half volts too. So we're getting power. It's just if we can send that... Uh, information through to make the numbers light up so it saved you a little bit of time just telling you that it worked or well, that there was voltage so good deal so we, we figured out some cool stuff we got to see the inside of the scoreboard um and uh we found out that it powers on uh, it's just trying to figure out how to get the data to do what it needs to do to light up the individual numbers uh, which would be pretty cool. Um, it, it definitely has power going through each of the number stacks, so it's just trying to tell the LEDs to turn on. Uh, good stuff. So the next steps for me right now is one is to um, call up the All-American billboards, talk to them, see if they happen to have any kind of uh, information on this thing. Um, if they still do, I'll get whatever they have. Uh, and um, I, I, I could guarantee they don't have any parts for it, like that control box or whatever. So if something's broken, it's just dead. Um, part two, I think before I get too involved in cleaning all of the boards and stuff, I want to see if I can get it to work first because what we're going to have to do to clean them is we're going to have to take four screws out of each one of these, pull it out, vacuum it all off or clean it all off however we can and then put it back in and that's going to take a while and then if for some reason we can't get it to work then it's just a bunch of time wasted all right well again thanks for watching have a good night take care